Hello there, my name is Jesse with Transland Shop. Today we're going to go over our uh, brand new 2022 Mac Anthem Day Cap Tractors. We're going to start outside the truck, uh, under the hood specifically. Uh, similar to our sleeper Mac Anthem tractors, there's a pull handle right there that unlocks the hood. Uh, you can go underneath the uh, hood and do all your checks. There's a hood latch to keep the hood from falling on anybody. <laughs> uh, right here is the safety release for that. Flip that up and then you're ready to close the hood. These trucks are powered by Mac MP8 proprietary motors and Mac M Drive transmissions. Uh, very, you know, same setup as our Mac sleepers. These trucks have aluminum wheels all the way around. Uh, this is a new feature on those new seat trucks for us. We have the flow below wheel covers. Uh, just like the rest of our road tractors, just push the button and spin and it'll pop off. You can check your tire pressures and just put it back on. Center it up, push it in, and twist, and they lock in. One, only one fuel tank that's on the driver's side. It's a pretty large one. Now in the truck, uh, from the ground, one feature that's pretty handy is after you hook to a trailer, there's a light test uh, function. It's this switch right here. Let's push that, it'll flash all your lights, and you can walk around and do a, a light check. And you can flip it right back off. Uh, so it's really handy. Hazards are right here. You uh, need to reach your hazards from the ground for any reason. And a work lamp button right there. Uh, let's jump up inside the truck and see what we can find in there. All right, so once we're inside the truck, we're going to turn the key on. Um, a lot of gauges in these trucks. Um, two air gauges are down here in the corner with the fuel gauge next to them. Uh, def gauge is on the left side of the center of uh, display. Uh, to control the center screen, which has a lot of functionality in it, you use the buttons on this right stalk right here. Um, to go up and down, you twist it. And uh, the back button's on the left and the inner button's on the right. Um, you can flip through a lot of truck data, information and notices uh, and gauges, uh, as well as choose a screen that you really like to use. Um, over here we have our gear selector. Once the truck's running, uh, just press your press brake firmly and pick a gear uh, and go from there uh, radio now as far as rocker switches this one is a is a new one to us it actually lets you control uh, the following distance to a degree uh, for the adaptive cruise control this is a hill start assist uh, disable you can turn the hill start assist off uh, if you ever need to for whatever reason Here's traction control, uh, mud snow, a power divider and a suspension dump, and a fifth wheel slide. Uh, to start the truck, this is a new, a new thing for these trucks. You turn the key on, as I did, but then you actually push a button right here to start the truck. And hold it until it starts, and there it goes. And then to shut it off, just like any other truck, just turn the key off, and you're good to go. Um, as far as outlets, these trucks have several. Uh, down here we have a 12 volt outlet. Up on top, uh, top of the dash, there are two USB ports. Uh, good for phone chargers, GPS's, um, anything like that that runs off a of USB. Um, we have dome lights. It's three position, all the way off, on with the doors open, and then all and then on. Thanks for checking out our new Mac Day Cabs.